So how does the brain make sense of pain? Why does it not just dissipate once the wound has healed? If you've ever had a broken bone and you reflect back on the experience of breaking your bone, you might actually notice that wherever the bone was broken, perhaps you broke your arm, a little twinge of pain comes up when you think about the experience of breaking your arm. Or if you ever get migraines, you might notice that if you think about getting a migraine, you might have a little bit of a twinge in your head. Don't do that right now, please, if you did and you're noticing that coming on, perhaps push pause and go do a little CPR for the amygdala and circle back to this video. That is how reactive our amygdala is in sensing into any information in the world that reminds her about threat. See, pain and trauma, like we've been talking about, go hand in hand. They feel very similar and are processed in very similar ways. The good news about that is that allows us to treat pain very effectively with many of the tools that we use to treat trauma. Now, unfortunately, when we look at the literature around treating pain, a lot of people don't utilize this framework. We're working on it, and hopefully we'll be changing the treatment of pain very soon. And if you're watching these videos, there's a part of you that's looking for a different way to exist in your life. And if you're watching these videos and you experience pain or illness, then I'd like to invite you to even go back through the old videos and using the framework of your pain as the symbol or the anchor do some of the previous work. So for our purposes right now, I'd like to invite you to check in with your mind and body. And if you're noticing an experience of pain, or if you did the exercise from the last video and you notice that experience, let's take it one step further and see if your unique experience of pain has a symbol. What does it look like? See, when there's fear tied into pain, our amygdala will help our brain make a story about what we're experiencing. And because we're narrative creatures and we have the opportunity to recreate the stories within which we live, that gives us an incredible and powerful opportunity to change the way pain impacts our life. And again, it could be emotional pain or physical pain. So this is accessible and applicable to both. If you noticed a symbol, you might notice a resonating experience happening in your body. Where does that live? Does that experience have a feeling or a temperature or a shape to it? And then notice when that symbol or that felt sense arises, how do you feel about yourself? These are often those less than preferable I am statements that are the through line of our story, especially when we're feeling pain, fear, anxiety, or stress. And when we're feeling those emotions, what do we know? We know Amy is narrating our experience not our thinking self brain. And what do we know about Amy? That means it's an opportunity to create empowered change because she's playing a role and we know how to heal her. So we're going to wrap this video up here and then in the next guided meditation, we'll go a little bit deeper into the symbolic experience. So take a moment, grab your journal, write down some notes. So the previous video that that exercise and do watch that video will give you some information into the role of fear and pain in your mind and body. And now in this exercise, we're deepening it into the symbolic experience or the sensory representation of where this lives and what happens. What's the data that your amygdala kicks up when we notice the fear and the sensory experience? And then what's the story that our brain starts to tell about who we are? How do we start to narrate our experience in the world? I'll see you soon. And I'm excited to be a part of this journey with you as we re-narrate and take the fear out of pain and instead bring an in agency and healing. Oh.